had a lazy morning this morning after our day of snorkeling yesterday uh, and now we're driving out just a couple of k's out of town to check out Maud's Landing, maybe catch some fish, go for a swim. We're going past the airfield over here and the salt flats. Here we are at the beach. The sand is quite soft. Andy's going to let the tyres down <laughs> so that we can park the other way, I think, and put the awning out. We've put the max tracks in. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> Andy's embarrassed. We're not stuck, but we just want to do it as a precaution because we don't want to get stuck. the awning out Ooh. sitting here Andy and the kids are fishing and swimming just there that's where we were snorkeling yesterday just there on the reef nice hot day today the bay just off Coral Bay is called I think Bill's Bay so we snorkeled there first and then this bay here is Bateman's Bay and apparently there's a five kilometre gap in the reef so then the whales come in and play around with their with their calves or cubs or calves and uh, the manta rays all come in and things like that um, can get inside the reef line. Yay! Oh right in the sandy water! <laughs> <laughs> What do I have to do? You have to find James. Find James, okay. Hmm, I wonder where he could be. Possibly next to the shovel? Somewhere? Hmm, did you bury your brother alive? <laughs> no. Can you help me get out? <laughs> nope, you're buried alive. He's under something. What is it? Yes. How do you know it's not there? It could be because it does shoot it that way and you drive over it. So we got the truck come up there. We got the truck out up there. Hopefully we stay on the harder stuff. Yes. I don't know where it is. The lowest I've ever gone ever. Woo. 12 pound. 12 pound in size. We got there. Buried Max track. <laughs> yeah. Three goes to get it around just to do a U turn to get back on this semi hard sand. And I think we need a
to go back and then go for a swim because now I'm sweating. Whew, we made it off the beach. Look how low the tire pressures are, 12 feet aside. Jumping, 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 jumping. Orange. Oh, close. I think Zoe's the champion. No, I'm Oh no, he's fallen and hurt himself. Day four in Coral Bay. We've just walked out uh, Bills Bay, just the main beach is right there. We've just walked a little bit south. We're gonna head out here. Apparently there's some good reef. You gonna put your snorkel on, Jamesy? See what we can see. Look, we're in knee deep water and there's these fish right there. They're following you? No. Crazy. There's so many fish right off the beach. I went out quite a way and then there's just so many right at the beach too. Great for kids. So today we spent most of the morning at uh, Bills Bay, just right in where Coral Bay is. And then we got back just after lunch, had some lunch, had a lazy afternoon, did some school. Then we've decided to come back down again. The wind's picked up a bit though. And just south of Bills Bay, you can fish off the land. So they're gonna give some fishing a crack. Zoe's making me some shoes. on something. Let's zoom right in. Ready? I don't know how good this zoom's gonna be. There's a seagull above him waiting to get whatever he's got. Let's go see. The seagulls want it. Yeah, we'll put him back. Oh, it's the same as yesterday, just different colour. Here we go. Say bye-bye.
it goes. <laughs> Setting the tyres down, we're going to go back to Five Fingers and have a snorkel because we didn't really snorkel there the other day. But this is where we've been. Uh, so here's Coral Bay, the caravan park's like literally right here. So yesterday we snorkeled out around Bill's Bay and we fished. This is all shore based fishing allowed here. Uh, so we fished off here, went for a snorkel. Maud's Landing is where we got bogged the other day because we were trying to get up to the Oyster Bridge. We got bogged a couple of k's up here on the really soft sand. Um, and then Five Fingers is where we went the other day, which we'll go again today. So we head in from the boat ramp, which is like just here behind us. And we follow the sand track out to Five Fingers. And you're also allowed to fish there. That's all recreation zone. The green is sanctuary, so no fishing, only land-based in the green bit. Back out at five fingers. The cuttlefish here must be huge. This is massive. That's my hand. It's huge. So this morning we just caught up on some work and schoolwork. It's Monday. Um, had a bit of a sleep in and now the kids really want to find some more dunes to sandboard on. So we'll go and have a look. We've just pulled in at Snapper Headland which we drove past yesterday on the way to Five Fingers Reef. Go out and have a look. It's high tide-ish I think. The tide's going out until I think low tide's at 4.30 so it'll still be quite high now. It's only midday. The wind has picked up a bit today, so there's white caps in the bay.
getting tired and hot? Ready for a swim? I think Zoe is. Ready for a swim? This is Zoe's bed. Can you tell we've been at the beach for six nights? Zoe! <laughs> Time to go! Bye bye! Coral Bay Caravan Park.